Welcome to Dear Administrator at today's Seniors in Bayshore Guest Home and Gardens. Our special guest today is George Kalfleisch, and you are the owner of Ewing Funeral Home. Yes, ma'am. Um, I do know that we have a couple of residents that have the pre-plans, and I came in to you last week because I need to take care of my pre-plans. Um, I'm realizing more and more at the moment that people have stopped doing that, and you know, it, it ties into the issues of medical surrogacy, power of attorney, living will, a will, and then prearranged funeral arrangements so as not to cause trauma to the spouse or the family at the last minute. Um, can you give us a little bit of advice about how to go about doing that in a sort of gentle fashion? It's, it's difficult sometimes to approach that subject with uh, some seniors and whenever I leave somebody, even if they don't want to do anything, with me, I tell them at least let somebody in your family know whoever is going to be in charge of your arrangements what you want done when something happens because left to them they may not know what you want and it's almost like whatever they do could be a mistake. So at least tell whoever is going to take care of your affairs that this is what you want done and if you're able to go ahead and complete those wishes. You don't have to prepay anything unless you want to. You can make those arrangements and put everything out that you want to as far as pre-arrangements, where you want to be buried, whether you want to be cremated. And you and would then, take care of that yes. and it could almost be like a layaway plan or... You, you can make payments. Uh, there's other people that just make their arrangements and have them on file so that when something happens and I get a call in the middle of the night, I go to the file and I find that person's wishes all lined out in detail that they gave me. And usually I provide them a typewritten copy of that meeting so they have one for their records, one to mail to their family. Sometimes as this kind of facility they have a copy that's kept here also. Yes, we do ask for that because unfortunately it seems that things happen on holidays, nights and weekends. Absolutely. You and know, and it sometimes just... you don't have access to any phone numbers. Right. They might be in the bank might be at the doctor's office, so anything you can put down on paper beforehand is, is the best thing to do. One issue I wanted to address with you, because as you know I'm medical surrogate for several people and I'm going to be coming in to help them make the arrangements, but you brought out a very salient point that I had no idea about. Regardless of whether these people make arrangements with you and specify their wishes very clearly, one of the children could contest that. Is yes. that true? Yes, it doesn't happen very often, but it does occur. And I've only had one or two instances in all these years where somebody overrode their parents' wishes. But usually if somebody's put it on paper, everybody leaves it alone and respects those wishes. And, it, and if you do it ahead of time, you will be able to tell if there's going to be a problem with one child or another sometimes. Sometimes we advise them to go talk this over with your children before you make final decisions and make sure everybody's okay with it. But so basically that is one of the, the cruxes of things that I wanted us to meet with you with because I, it was my understanding that once I made decisions they would be respected. I had no idea that they could be contested. They could, but it's very rare. And, and many other people go a step further and actually prepay all those arrangements. And that just is a little more cement to the whole package that this is what they wanted and they paid for it and they signed the paper telling me these are my directions. So I would have that child contact an attorney to override what I had in my files because I had met with Mrs. Smith, for instance, and this is what she wanted. And I would not just go uh, loose with the, this person that came in from nowhere's wishes when it goes against the, the person that's passed. And are all of the directors of the funeral homes on the same page as you are? Absolutely. It, it could create liability, so you want to follow the steps through and make sure that you're doing everything you're supposed to do. Now, I know that this is very difficult. I just went through this with someone here at Bayshore, but they were kind enough to come here, and I did have a therapist here with them, and it sort of eased that whole conversation. Would you be willing, just because they really don't particularly like to go to funeral homes, and if they've buried someone there, it's 
a particularly hard, hard day. Right. Right. Would you be willing to come to Bayshore and Absolutely. make the arrangements here yes. with them? we do that quite often. Okay, and also if ever it is on a weekend or a night and you know that the other spouse is in the house alone, we are a safe house. Please bring them here and we will take care of them until their children can come into town. That's, that's very nice. I probably have not really heard that voice before. So that's a nice well, thing that, that you're doing. That's, that's what we want to do. I don't want someone left in, right. in their house. Sometimes I had to leave a home and, and I felt bad about leaving that not anymore. spouse there. Not so. anymore. They sure will be here. We are fully staffed and they can sit in the couch and just be a guest and Take be care taken of care of until their children come home. That's wonderful. All right. I thank you so much, George, for everything you've done Spider for us. And um, thank you once again for watching Dear Administrator at Bayshore Guest Home and Gardens. Have a wonderful day.